New throw. Oh! He's here! He's here! He's here! Shot! Shot! He's here! Oh my gosh, my face is gone! Dude! Yes! <laughs> what? 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 Knock! So it's been a couple hours since the Sonic Superstars trailer dropped, and I finally have get, gotten enough time to process it all, so now let's just go ahead and jump straight into this analysis. So we start here with this little bit of a cinematic here. Go between the two different aspects, 2D and 3D gameplay. That looks so clean. Like, oh my gosh. And we got, oh, I didn't realize this. Spain has been sneaking around the, the pine tree here for a second. I kind of like that. I, I like that little touch of the detail here. Uh, if we keep going here, what looks to be a new whole entire re-edition of, of Green Hill Zone. It just looks so clean. Animations, the 3D um assets and everything. And these don't look like old levels. These look like brand new enemies here. Like we've never seen. I don't recognize this rocket dude right here. These look like entirely new designed levels from the ground up. If you guys haven't been keeping up with the Sonic news lately, there have been rumors and um, move my mic a little bit. There have been rumors and leaks going around about a new 2D side game in development. And I didn't believe those rumors were true for a second because after the feedback and results from Sonic the Hedgehog 4 way back when, I didn't think they were going to do this again. But oh my gosh i was wrong and i am so happy i was wrong because this essentially looks like sonic the hedgehog 4 but classic sonic and completely redesigned from the ground up and i am super stoked can't wait to play it this fall i'm hoping it's not around the time spider-man 2 and the FNAF movie come out because i'm gonna be very busy then with content like the animation style here just looks so clean and looks like the the squash and stretch of sonic as well it looks so beautiful I didn't even know this either. Dude, he has the Sonic CD running animation. Bro, the Infinity Loop. And, 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 but he also had, if you go back, he has the normal running animation as well, right here. So, are you gonna be like, are you still gonna be like different varieties of skins we could apply to Sonic and the other characters? You could grind rail as well, which is pretty sick for Classic Sonic. I'm glad we can grind rail in a 2D Classic Sonic game, which is sick. Although I do ha I do have the one question though. One question. One 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 question that all of us Sonic fans are dying to know. Is there momentum? Oh and these levels here. I love these lines that represent like kind of like that. How would you call that? You know that you know those backgrounds you always see that give like that eight that, that, that eighties background that was always used. But I'll show a screen of it um like on screen right now, but it kind of looks like that, and I like the inspiration they're taken from that. Um, so it looks like there's gonna be like some cyberspace mini game levels that you're gonna be traversing in. I'm guessing those are like the mini stages that you enter when you tap on the like the sparkles that um surround the checkpoint. Um, I'm just, I'm just speculating though, but I can't, I'm still excited. Like this looks like a brand new kind of bonus stage that we never seen in a Sonic game before. So, so yeah, I'm excited to see that as a new form of new content that Sonic team is making. And this is not made by a third party developer. This game is actually made 
by Sonic Team. And then these models look like they're stripped straight out of Sonic Mania. So we got four characters so far I know we could play as. We got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Classic Amy. Apparently there was a modern Amy costume that was advertised that you could get when subscribing to the newsletter, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the classic character skins, if you know what I mean. Team up with friends. So it looks like this game is going to be co-op, which if it's going to be co-op, I'm definitely going to be playing this with my friends on stream when it comes out. And it looks like you've got different abilities as well. So it looks like Amy's hammer is going to be able to destroy different obstacles that are in the way. Maybe we could, maybe if you're playing single player, possibly you could swap between characters like mid game. Probably not, but just I'm speculating again. Again, I'm just blurring out my thoughts. And then what the heck is that? Then what the bro leads you to? Oh my god goodness bro i hope he's a boss uh, please let please let that bad neck be a boss please i i want to fight that thing i want to fight that shark like what what's coming out of here and just seeing all four of the character models on screen just looks oh death's kiss just look looks absolutely this is a, this is a work of art at one point in the trailer he's in his 3d model but when you go to that part the mini game again with the co-op mode they're in their pixelated models so i'm like are some levels going to be 3D models only, or are some models going to also just be pixelated models only? So that's what I'm curious about. It looks like there's going to be like mini games as well you can um, play with your friends with in co-op mode, which I can't wait to try out those as well. So we also have new abilities that are introduced throughout this trailer. Um, what looks to be um, an ice ability that allows Sonic to climb up waterfalls. So maybe there's like elemental abilities. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll talk about this part in a second. But maybe there's like some maybe there's like some different elemental abilities now. Maybe there's like a wind ability or like a maybe there's different abilities like that, which I, I wouldn't mind seeing. But again, speculation. And here we got another we got another like special stage here that you can explore in the game. So it looks like there's going to be different varieties of special stages you can explore in, in here. So first we had that like cyberspace kind of looking one, but also there's this other cyberspace looking one, like. I'm, I'm assuming they're taking a lot of elements from Sonic Frontiers into this. Like, I, Sonic, it feels like Sonic has this sort of trend for cyberspace that they appeal, that they really are inspired by, I should say. So Sonic has this Spider-Man web slinging ability, and then we have these Sonic Sonic 1 special stages here that are making a return. Looks like you're going to be playing those in co-op mode as well, which looks really great, by the way. Everything here looks so clean and so smooth. So I'm guessing there's, like, different kinds of special stages, where one is essentially like the Sonic 1 special stage. The other is like that cyberspace one that we've been seeing throughout this um, and that's the trailer, the one that we haven't seen before. And then the other one being being that Spider-Man web slinging one throughout cyberspace that we're seeing. I'm guessing there's gonna be three different s special slash bonus stages that, are gonna, that we're gonna encounter throughout this game. Um, I'm more excited about the web sling one because I've been playing a lot of Spider-Man recently. But um, the Cyberspace one looks very promising as well. So definitely very much looking forward to all three of these stages. And I can't wait to experience them. And then this shot right here of Sonic and Amy together just looks so nice. And again, let me say it. Say it with me. Clean. And then Eggman right here. Like, what is this? The Death Egg Robot 2.0? Like, dude, this might actually give us a new story. We might actually have a new original story. Um, for a classic sign game, which I would absolutely adore and love. If that's the route they're going with this game, I'm even more excited if that's, if that's going to be the case. Because Sonic Mania did have kind of a cliche story, in my opinion, with the Phantom Ruby connected to Sonic Forces, which kind of didn't play out too well. So I'm really hoping this has an original story that's just tied to this game and this game alone and doesn't connect to another 3D Sonic game. I really hope so that they're going that route and then we have this ability right here in the, at the very end that's like a mirroring ability like it just storms hundreds of thousands of sonics at once um as enemies and yeah it's coming to ps5 ps4 xbox like it's cross gen it's coming to all platforms and then here at the very end when i actually we actually all know this knack i hope i hope to goodness that we can play as knack in this game if we can't play as knack now i'm making a complaint to sega sega Sonic Team, I better be able to play as a Knack. We need that Knack glove, man. We got Knack in the game, but we have to play as him. We gotta play as him. Please. Make it happen. Please. And that is all I have to say for this analysis. I am so sorry if the editing is a little all over the place. I'm still trying to... I, I'm gonna be honest. I still haven't processed all of this. Um, I'm still trying to process the fact that a, Sonic, so, a, new, a, a new Sonic game shadow dropped during Summer Game Fest. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. 
my reaction to this. Subscribe if you want to see even more Sonic and Nintendo content, because I'll be covering this game day one when it launches, and I swear to gosh, Sega, if you drop this during the FNAF movie and Spider-Man 2, I'm going to lose my mind. But with that being said, I hope you're all excited for this new 2.5D Sonic game as much as I am. And with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.